Dom here from Essential RC. Before we get into our latest flight test, I just wanted to share with you these fantastic prescription lenses that you can easily install into your FPV goggles. If you ordinarily wear glasses, then these are a must to just make your whole FPV experience a lot more enjoyable. All you need to do is to go onto vrwave.store key in your prescription that you can easily get from your optician and then about a one to two weeks later you'll get these lenses and you'll never have to wear your glasses with your FPV goggles again. Highly recommended and we use them a lot. All right Dom and Jason here from Essential RC. Uh, Jay is wearing my FPV goggles. With his interesting sticker choice. I love my sticker <laughs> choice on those. It makes me look like a pucker RAF pilot. But, um, so we're flying the Flex Innovations RV8, the, the big one. Uh, this is the night flight version that comes with the lights. Jay, you put this together, didn't you? Put two of them together, yeah. yeah yes, yeah. so the intention <laughs> is that we fly these together, FPV. Um, so Jay was kind enough to put them together. And then you'll see on here, on the tail, Jason created this new gimbal. So you want to come a bit closer, Carl? It's at the moment it's just a pan it's gimbal. Just pan at the moment, but we could tilt it if we need to. And I'm doing that on a slider. And you'll see that on the onboard footage, which we'll show you in a minute. Yep. Um, otherwise, in terms of putting this together, pretty easy. I, I will say I was pretty disappointed by some of the quality. Um, yeah. The foam out the box came with glue all over hinges. Um, it's like was, the guy in the factory, the, it, ours was a bit of a Friday night special. It was, yeah. There were sort of fingerprints with Sino all over the place. Um, and one of the lights doesn't work on the tail. There was some dodgy soldering on the electric. So the lights and the glue is a bit of an afterthought. But the rest of it um, was OK. Actually. So it needs a bit of work. Yeah. But um, there's nothing else like it on the market in terms of a big foamy. and. Um, but as long as you've got patience to sort some of those problems, then it'll fly. Now, the other thing is, and I'll show you this really quickly, what we put in it is a flight controller. Um, so you've got the, the 6S pack here, and this is a Matec 765 flight controller, which all the servos are rooted into, and um, the FPV system is powered off that as well. Now, why would we do that? The benefits of a flight controller is that first it gives you uh, on-screen display yep. data in the goggles, so altitude, height, speed, GPS speed, um, your return to home vector, how far you're away from home. And the second thing is clever things like auto leveling and return to home. So if I was out, and for example, if I were to lose my FPV signal, if I were flying FPV, I can flick the switch and it will just return to home by itself and circle above, which is it's kind Useful. of a must-have yeah, thing, yeah, isn't yeah. it, when you're flying FPV? Even if, you know, we're supposed to fly within visual range of a spotter, yeah. I think it's still a very good thing to have. So, Definitely. and not hard to set up. Uh, running iNav and you've got an iNav configurator, it's quite easy to set up. Uh, light system as well is on and you can flick that on and off from the transmitter. But enough chit-chat, let's get it flying. Here we go. Tell you what, it is quite cool having your um, camera at the back, but it is it's suffering with a little bit of vibration. Oh, is it? Yeah. Quite a lot of jello vibration. It seems the higher the throttle setting, the better it is. Out. 
I mean, it's cool, I can see the eight on it. Stall spin dump. Hold on, I'm just getting some uh, video at altitude. Oh, uh, okay. Signal then, Dom. Is it regained? It's regained, yeah. But it won't record in the air unit now. Oh, now it is. It's recording again. Yeah, the air unit reset. I wonder if it's because it's mounted at the top of a foam fin. It's doing that. It's quite flexible. Yeah. It's just getting bumped around a lot. Do you reckon you could support it with some wires to the tail? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's yellow because now it's not vibrating. Mm. Maiden flight, that was really good. Uh, needed a little bit of trimming, a little bit of vibration on the onboard, but I think it's actually down to prop balance because it's jello. Oh, okay. So um, maybe we'll balance the prop and try it again. Yeah, it would make sense, but you shouldn't get any with an electric motor. No. Obviously. So, in terms of flying, flies flies really well and um, stable. I think, you know, the I don't think the CG is perfect because. Um, that makes a huge difference to where you have to put the pack. The 6S pack I'm using is right up the front. There's no other way I can move it any further forward and it's still quite sensitive on the sticks. Mm. So um, we might have to put a bit more weight in the front to How make it fly? perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, good, good. I think the servos are quite, they're not fast servos. It's quite docile and just a, a slow fly. Yeah. Um, but anyway, there you go. So that's the Flex Innovations RV8, the, the bigger version. This is the night version, so you can see some of the lights are on. Not quite dim enough to show them up perfectly. 
but that's it. So if you enjoyed this uh, Essential RC flight test, then please subscribe. You might want to click uh, the was it the uh, the bell icon? icon? The bell icon. Bell icon. Yeah. The bell icon. Not like you haven't been doing YouTube for a while, Dom. <laughs> <is it? laughs> Only 15 years. <laughs> the bell icon for notifications of our uh, scheduled live streams and other uploads. And you might want to click uh, the thumbs up as well for a like. That would be appreciated. Thanks to Carl on camera. Cheers. And thanks for Jason for testing out the FPV. No problem. See you next time. See you next time. See ya. Cheers.